Okay, quick video. I just got through watching the first episode to this little um, uh, series that they finna have on Bra uh, Bravo about Candy's wedding and all that stuff. And let me just say, the only reason why that a lot of us is watching is to see the antics of Mama Joyce. And she showing up didn't disappoint this first episode. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be. Probably, probably going to be four more episodes after this one because... Um, you know, they getting married. On the first episode, they said they getting married in five weeks. They got five weeks to do all this shit. So, I'm assuming that we got like four, four more episodes or whatever. But, here's the thing. It's cute for what it is. And, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing to do videos about this or whatever. Or, put it in with the Married to Medicine, you know, video. But, either way, it's a cute little thing. And, it's just the way it is special. The only thing that I really want to talk about. Okay. Todd and Candy are cute together. Do I feel that he trying to take advantage of her? No. Um, if you've seen The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know how Mama Joyce is. And she sure enough didn't, you know, veer far away from her antics on that show. She just doing it in full force on this one. And it's a lot of stuff that she did on this show, that this first episode, that I was not in agreement with. I'm like... I want to have respect for people, elders, my elders. I want to have respect for people, parents. But when you come out the bag and you acting a plum ass fool for no goddamn reason, Mama Joy show her ass on this episode, bitch. You know, um, if y'all remember on one of the episodes, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, when Carmen, who was Candy's best friend, they got into it. She got into it with her aunts and Mama Jo uh, Joyce at the bridal shop. Yeah. So, Candy is going ahead with this wedding. We already know at this point in time that she is already married. So, whatever, you know, thoughts Mama Joyce had about them not getting married or not wanting them to get married, uh, that's gone because it don't really matter because they go ahead and did what, what they already married. So, fuck that. But, you know, at that point in time, Nora and Bertha, that's her aunt's name. They didn't want her to get married, and in my opinion, it was just saying she was. Just, they was just kind of following behind Mama Joyce when she said that shit, and because of how mad Mama Joyce was acting at that point in time, because Candy goes over to Mama Joyce, not Mama Joyce, but her aunt Nora house, and Bertha there, and her cousin there. She want her cousin to be up in the wedding, and they all sitting there, tied is with them, and everybody's having a good time and all of that, and and, and basically. They apologized for their actions and said, you know, we were wrong for doing this and we was wrong for ruining that day for you and acting out of line like that. Ty, I ain't got nothing against you. And we actually love and support you and all that stuff. And we want to see you get married and have your happiness because who, who, who are we to take away your happiness? And I was like, see, I'm here for that. Did Mama Joyce do some shit like that? First of all, them aunties is shady. They shady as fuck. Yes, they are. And they all sound to get... They all got that type of tone and they voice. Just different fucking levels of voice inflections and shit. But it all sounds just like this. You know, I was just like, God damn. But Bertha, Bertha and her shady ass look. Nora was like, yeah, I like um, Ty Mama and all that shit. You know, I seen Ty at the, um, at the play and we was talking. I said, we gonna be... Best of friends. Here go Bertha. What's that face? Because she talked too much. And I ain't got time for it, girl. She going to sit down by me and talk. And I'm just going to move over to the side. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. That's how she was. I said, Bertha, you know these old people. They just give you one. But, um, so they apologize for that, which is good. Candy want Carmen and, um, Don Juan and this other guy, Johnny, to... You know, plan the wedding. The wedding is in five weeks. And they like, what the fuck, bitch? This is too big of a thing. Um, You should have got professionals. I'm going to just put it out there. Candy, you should have just got professionals to do this if you wanted stuff done correctly and on time. Because you put this stuff on Johnny. He ain't never really planned a real big-ass wedding. And, you know, that's what she was doing. And, you know, he lost and all this stuff. And then Ty coming in. Getting in Carmen's face, going blowing up at her about stuff not being done, and I know that it's his wedding too, but that's Candy's friend, and technically she do work for Candy. She don't work for you, so I would have felt a little bit better if you know that little that little scene where he went off on uh, Carmen for not having the stuff done, 
I would have felt better if it came from Candy. You know, he should have just gave it to Candy and said, you know what, I'm going to let Candy handle this shit. And she did get in her feelings because he got in his feelings. And I do feel like she got pushed a little bit to the brink to want to say, fuck this shit, I'm not going to do this no more. But she shouldn't have just got up and left like that. She should have called Candy and let her settle this shit out. And I was here for Candy at the end when they, her and Carmen got into that argument. Like, I understand you upset, Carmen, but <laughs> don't send me no fucking text message and think I'm going to go back and forth with your ass in the goddamn text message. No, you got an issue that's pressing. Fucking call me and, and we could talk about it voice to voice over the phone or come to my house or tell me, bitch, can you come over? We really need to talk. Y'all friends. Y'all been friends for 20 years. Y'all can't do that. You know, so I get why Candy didn't respond back, but... I also get Carmen sad, you know, she was like, basically, it was a little bit too much on, uh, they on a short time frame, had they been started doing this shit, you know, it probably wouldn't be this stressful, or whatever, they got five weeks to get all this stuff done, and a lot of the stuff that she want, Candy wants this coming to America, um, thing, she wants somebody to sing the song, she's your queen to be, she wants the dancers, she wants all this stuff, she wants, you know, the invitations to be on the scroll, Carmen can't get the scroll because it's going to take a while to have it brought to Atlanta and all that stuff. And they don't have that type of time. And that's how the blow up between her and Todd came about. And, you know, Carmen, she was wrong in her assumptions. Though, I hate when people assume shit. Don't assume shit, okay? Because you're going to make yourself look dumb as fuck in the end if it's not right. All right? Um, I have to say that all the goddamn time because people want to assume a lot of bullshit. And it's just like... If I had something to say, I would fucking say it to you, bitch, you know. So, people just don't understand that. And then you'll be standing there looking dumb as fuck. She thought that Candy was the one that told Ty to tell her all this shit. Candy didn't tell her that. Ty went on his own and told her all this stuff and, um, you know, basically somewhat fired her or pushed her to the edge to quit. But, um, they getting into this little argument and they crying, of course. And Carmen just was like, you know... What about me? I can't even go to my son's school because of the bullshit that happened at that bridal shop with your mama and everybody looking at me like, uh, this is the bitch that got into it and, you know, all that shit. So it's affecting her and her mother's actions and all this stuff. And, you know, it goes back to Mama Joyce, how come you can't stand up and all this stuff. You know, it's just, that's going to be the running thing. Mama Joyce, I will say this shit. When she met up with her brother, or her brother, when she met up with her sisters, and she was talking about the wedding. That bitch wasn't here for that wedding. And she will never be here for this wedding. I don't care if my, um, Candy and Todd stay together for 30 years. I don't care if he get rich enough to buy her the fucking world. Mama Joyce will never be here for him. Okay? Nothing that he does will satisfy her. And for her to say, I don't care for him or to her, his parents because, you know, he knows the game. He knows the game. He was raised for, by a pimp and a hoe. Called his mama a hoe and then said the same thing to Candy. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? You crossing a goddamn line. And it even irked me more when I found out that Candy said that. How you gonna call his daddy a pimp? He didn't even know his daddy like that. His daddy is dead. So you gonna talk about somebody's dead father to make a point to put them down? Come on, Mama Joyce. Come on now. What you showing is that you jealous, you bitter, and all that shit. And you got a fucking man. Why don't you just focus on your goddamn relationship? And why you ain't married yet? And why you can't keep a motherfucking man? Because like Candy said, y'all done went through a whole bunch of marriages in that family. Bitch, that's why you can't. I can't even... Under, I, I don't even see her with a man, but she do got one. He was on the um season finale of the last season of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she just trifling as fuck. That whole comment... <laughs> <laughs> some people, you know, you got to do what you got to do to, um, you know, make sure your kids are done. You know, I hustle my way. I work 2 o'clock in the morning and all this shit. And some people just work on street corners and stuff like that. I was like, Mama Joyce, you think you better? Okay, fine. If she did do that, but who still got the love and respect? Yo, yo, your daughter is in fear of you. His, he loves his mama and she respects him. 
we don't see her on Twitter or, or on this show acting a goddamn ass or stuff coming out about her saying stupid shit about Candy. And then you want to get mad because you can't come over when Candy not there. But, um, you know, his mama can come over because you act the asshole. What you need to come over there for? What you need to come over there for? Girl, please. Like Candy said, the mama, his mama respects her more than my own mama do. I said, that's a damn shame. But, um, this is a cute little episode. It's gonna be some drama, and y'all just be prepared for Mama, um, Mama Joyce to give us one each episode. Um, depending on how many people watch it, and if y'all want me to continue doing individual, you know, um, reviews for it, I will. But if not, I just probably mention it a little bit and tack it on to the beginning of the uh, Marriage to Medicine. I'm waiting for that shit to go off, too. Oh, yeah, and Rico ass, Married to Madison. Rico ass is on this shit once again because she, he did do her dress. And her friend came in there and was like, Bitch, you really want him to do your dress when he put you up in that blue shit that was ugly as fuck? Now, let me just tell you this. Rico may be a cool dude, but I truly think that he's a little bit overrated. And I'm just tired of seeing him. And, you know, there you have it. So, um, but he did say that he was going to do everything for free. But, I mean, I guess, I guess that's cool. <laughs> y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Now, I'll see y'all later. Peace.